dealing with a negative engineering manager. In this week's engineering management lessons video, I want to answer a question that I received from an up and coming engineer. He asked, how can I deal with a manager who's extremely negative on a daily basis? Now, unfortunately, I've had firsthand experience with this myself while I was practicing as a civil engineer. And I can tell you, it's a very, very difficult thing to do, and it can be very draining. So I'm gonna to try to give you a couple of tips to deal with it, but again, I wanna reinforce, I understand it's not an easy situation to deal with. So one of the positives that can come out of a situation like this is when you have to deal with someone who's negative on a daily basis, you need to be overly positive. You need to strengthen your mindset to be able to deal with that. You almost have to put up armor to protect negative thoughts from infiltrating your mind. Because unfortunately, a negative outlook and a negative attitude can become very contagious. I've seen this in the workplace, again, through my own experiences. I've seen people using certain words and phrases every day that other people just start to say and they don't even know it. So you need to strengthen your mindset and make it positive. How does one do that? One of the things you could do is read. Reading is extremely positive. You can read positive books, you can read quotes, you can read articles which you can find online, but you have to make sure that you do it on a very regular basis. I recommend having a list of positive quotes that you read every morning or when you get to work each day. I recommend having a couple of positive books on hand and reading them a little bit each night. That can really, really boost positivity. One of my favorite books that I like to read over and over is a book called The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma, which helps me to develop a very positive mindset. But you have to understand that your brain is a very complex computer and whatever you're putting into it drives the output. So the more positive you remain yourself, the easier you're gonna be able to deal with that person. And depending on the relationship that you have with this manager of yours, you may be able to eventually pass some of this information to him or her, recommend a book, send them an article, you know, without of course coming off as someone who knows more than them or is condescending. But if you have that relationship, that can be beneficial and you might actually help them, which is not easy to do. As you can see, what I'm recommending here is working on yourself and not trying to change their ways. But if you have the ability to help them, you can. The other thing that I'll tell you about this and another action you can take is find a mentor within your company that's a positive person. Now you have to be a little bit careful here because there can be office politics that come into play. If you're talking about someone else in your company that's negative and you're telling someone else about it, first of all, the mentoring relationship should be confidential and that should be discussed with this mentor. But what this mentor can do, if they're positive and they're within your company so they understand how the company's operating, the different divisions and different departments, they can try to keep you going in the positive direction. They can try to keep that mindset flowing for you. And it's someone that can almost serve as, not as a manager, but someone as like a secondary manager for you. They have the experience, they can give you the guidance and some wisdom to keep you on the right path. Obviously, you never wanna to have to leave a company for a negative situation and hopefully it wouldn't come to that. But the benefit in an opportunity like this is it's gonna force you to have an ironclad positive mindset that can help you for years and years to come. I hope you found this week's video helpful. We put out videos weekly to help engineers become better managers and leaders. Please subscribe to our channel here to make sure that you're getting our videos. I'll see you next week.